Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a 45 minute hip power flow and it is leg day today. So before we get started, if you have any of these two items, then go and grab them now. A resistance band and a lacrosse ball. If you don't have them, don't you worry. You don't need them for this session, but it's nice to have them if you do have them. If you want to, you can wear trainers or you can just wear bare feet. I feel personally more powerful and stronger in trainers, but if you prefer bare feet, that is all good. So we're gonna get started today in a child's pose. So take the knees as wide as your mat, big toes touching at the back, let the hips sink down to the heels and reach your fingertips forwards. Really try to lengthen the fingertips as far forwards as possible so you can really get that length and space through the lower back and through the spine. Taking some really deep, long breaths in and out so that we're calming the nervous system. So that when we get moving, the muscle tissue is already nice and relaxed and then therefore stronger, rather than having any jittery sensations. Calm the nervous system, slow the heart rate, breathe deep. One more breath here. Good, and slowly come up to a tabletop, walking the hands back in line with your shoulders and knees come back in line with your hips. Lifting the chest forwards into a cow pose with the inhale and rounding through the spine with the exhale into a cat pose. So we're gonna go through those two cat cows, inhaling, lift the chest forwards and the tail went up and exhaling to round the spine. Doing that once more, inhaling to lift the chest forwards and the tail went up and exhaling to round through the spine. So come back to neutral spine and take any wiggles that you need. Now we're gonna lengthen the right heel towards the back of the mat and lift the foot a little bit away from the floor. So I don't want you to go too high with this one, just a little bit away and the toe pointing down towards the ground rather than out to the side. Both of your hip bones pointing down and then you're gonna extend the left arm forwards. Now try to keep the, the pelvis nice and steady. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your right elbow, sorry, left elbow to the right knee. And as you inhale, you're gonna extend. Exhale, bring left elbow to right knee. Inhale to extend. Last two times, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to extend, really press that heel back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. Taking the hand and the knee back down to the ground. Taking that over to the other side, left heel presses back and the foot comes away from the ground. Remember it's not turned out, it's turned in, so the hip bone is pointing down. Right arm reaches forward. It really, let's really start to build some strength and stability through the core. Exhale, the right elbow comes to the left knee, scoop it in. Inhale to extend, press the heel back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. Twice more like that. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. Good, taking the hand and the knee back down to the floor. Now, if you have a lacrosse ball, take the lacrosse ball onto your lower back. And I want you to try and do, whoops, this movement without the drawing of the knee into the elbow. Trying to stabilize, right leg goes back, left arm goes forwards without that ball coming off your back. So it's really where you start to build a little bit more stability. So if you have anything like this you can place on your back just to find that stability, then please do. Otherwise you're just doing this movement nice and slowly. The knee coming in, the hand coming in, and then the leg going out and the arm going out. We're gonna take two more of these this is really, really good for building the strength in the core, the really tight inner core muscles that surround your spine, which will help take some pressure away from the legs when we get to them. Good, let's go to the other side. Left leg goes back, right arm goes forwards. Trying to keep that ball on your back. Or just imagining you've got a ball on your back if you don't have one, and trying to keep it there. Nice and smooth and stable. 
keeping the ribcage drawing in the last time. Taking the knee and the hand back down to the floor. Well done. So taking the ball off your back if you have it on there, just roll yourself around onto your back. And then you're going to place your right ankle across your left thigh. And you're going to draw that left thigh close, interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. Flex your right foot, right knee draws out to the side and then you're going to press that right ankle into the thigh. So you're going to find that resistance there. Press, press, press. Take another breath in with the resistance, the pressure of the ankle against the knee. And then as you exhale, just release a little bit of pressure and see if you can draw that leg just a little bit closer. Now resist it away. Take a breath in. Relax your jaw and exhale to draw the leg a little bit closer. Last time, press away. And exhale, draw it a little bit closer if it wants to go there, don't force anything. And then you're going to relax your arms, just take your arms round to the side of you, maybe into a T-shape if you've got the space. Then you're going to take that whole shape over to the left side to come into a gentle twist. Left hand can come onto the inside of the right leg, and you can draw that right leg away from you to find more space in the hip. I really like to do with this one, try to draw that right hip down towards the ground so you really find that length and space across the hip. Maybe turning the head to face the right hand side and we'll breathe here for two breaths. Last breath. Well done, bringing that all back in. Just give yourself a little hug, knees into the chest. Maybe giving yourself a sway from side to side. Let's take that to the other side. So left ankle across the right thigh. The right thigh draws in and hands come behind the back. The left, uh, sorry, behind the back of the right leg. The left foot flexes and you're pressing the ankle into the thigh. Knee turns out to the side, we're gonna hold it here. Really press the leg away with the ankle. So you should feel muscles around here start to switch on. Take another breath here. And as you exhale, see if you can draw that leg a little bit closer as you release the effort in the left leg. Pressing away. Resist, resist, resist. Take a breath in. And exhale, release the resistance and draw that leg a little closer if it allows to. Last time, pressing the leg with the ankle. Resist, resist, resist. Take a breath in and draw the leg close as you relax the effort. Good. Keeping that figure four shape, take your hands to the floor beside you, taking everything over to the right hand side. Now maybe taking the right hand to the inner left leg, pressing the leg away from you, and if you want to, really think about drawing that left hip down so you've got this uh, sort of opposite pulling sensation. Pressing away, drawing down, nice spacious feeling in the hip, and then we're sort of holding here for two breaths. Last breath. Lovely, bring everything back in. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. Down, taking the feet to the ground. We're gonna do some hip raises. So you're gonna lift the hips up towards the ceiling and you're gonna really squeeze your glutes. And then you're gonna bring your hips down towards the ground but just hover them, not actually touch the floor. You're gonna press down through your heels, lift your hips up and exhale to bring them down. Now we're gonna to start to speed it up and we're gonna do this for 30 counts. So not necessarily 30 reps, but 30 seconds. Doesn't have to be too fast to start off with. Relax your shoulders, 20. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, rest up. You should already start to feel that in your glutes, so give your knees a little hug again. You might even feel that in your lower back. Then we'll take the left foot to the ground and extend the right leg away, knees in line with each other. We're gonna lift the hips up towards the ceiling, just like we did before, pressing down through that left heel and lower for 30 counts. Twenty. Really press down through the heel. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Switching legs. Right foot to the ground. Left leg extends. Take a breath in. And a breath out, going for 30. Again, really think about pressing down through the heel. That's what's gonna help really ignite the hamstrings as well as the glutes. In the core engaged, tailbone reaching towards the knee. 20. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, everyone. Bring the knees into the chest, give them a hug. And then take the feet to the ground. And this time you're opening the knees out to the side. So you're gonna now press down through the blades of your feet. Lifting the hips again, lifting the hips up, squeezing the glutes and then taking the hips down towards the ground. Now you can just do that hover like we did before, or you can take them down to the ground, but try not to release the effort completely. Try to keep that slight tension in the glutes. Now lifting the hips up for 30. Really again, think about pressing down through the blades of your feet to lift the hips up. Starting to connect a little bit more into the inner thighs now. 20. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done. Bringing both knees into the chest. This time turn the knees out to the side, hands onto the ankles, and just give your whole body a little sway from side to side, using the legs as sort of a weight to bring you from one side to the other. All right, bring yourself all the way up. Roll yourself forwards into a tabletop Wiggle yourself into the middle of the mat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and take it into your first downward facing dog. So once you're in your downward facing dog, just have a little pedal out through the feet. Bending one leg and then the other. Good, and then just settling into your downward facing dog for a few breaths. Feel the tailbone lift up pulling you away from the ground. Feel length through the backs of your legs and feel space in your shoulders, pressing down into your hands. Take a breath in and a breath out. Left foot comes to the center line of the mat. The right leg lifts all the way up towards the ceiling. From here, we're gonna pulse for three, two, one. Then you're gonna bend the right knee and stack the right hip on top of the left. Really shine the pelvis, squeeze the right heel into the left glute. Take a breath in. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, pause. Inhale, take the right leg back up into three-legged dog. And exhale, bring your right knee to your nose, pause. 
Holding here, drop your right knee towards the ground and then scoop it back in. Drop your right knee towards the ground and then scoop it back in. Right leg lifts up with the inhale and exhale. You just slowly lower that right foot to the ground. Pedal out through the feet again if that feels good. Take a breath in and a breath out. Right foot comes to centre line of mat, left leg lifts up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog, pulsing here for three, two, one. Exhale, bring your, uh, bend up your left knee, stack your left hip on top of the right, and squeeze your left heel in towards your right bum cheek. Take a breath in. Exhale, left knee over to right elbow, twist. Inhale, back into a three-legged dog, Hips lift, uh, left leg lifts high. Exhale, left knee to nose, pause here for a moment. Then lower your left knee towards the ground and then scoop it back in. Once more like that, lower it down. Scoop it back in and then take the left leg all the way back up into three-legged dog and exhale, bring it down towards the ground slowly. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, ripple yourself forwards into a plank pose and then lower your knees to the ground and come into your tabletop. Just have a little wiggle if you need to, roll the neck around in circles, roll the shoulders, roll the hips. So now we're gonna go into donkey kicks. So donkey kicks, you're opening up your leg slightly to the side. Then you're gonna kick your leg back and then you're gonna bring it in. We're gonna do three pulses in the donkey kick. One, two, three. Then you're going to extend and bring the leg back. 30 counts. Extend, bring it back. Three, two, one, extend, bring it back. Three, two, one, extend, bring it back. 20. Try not to create too much curve in the lower back again. This is all in the glutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Give yourself a wiggle. We'll take that over to the other side. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. So left heel goes back, the knee is bent, the knee is slightly turned out to the side. Taking three pulses, three, two, one, extend the leg, then bring it back in. 30 counts, three, two, one, extend the leg, bring it in. Three, two, one, extend the leg, and bring it in. Keep breathing, and keep the core nice and strong and stable. 20, 20, relax your jaw, my jaw is getting nice and tense, not nice, <laughs> it's getting tense, so it's good to remind you, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, well done. Just give the hips a little bit of a wiggle. Lovely, so now if you've got your band, place your band over your feet, round to your legs. So place it just at the bottom of your thighs. And again, don't worry if you don't have a resistance band, that's all good. So you're going to be taking your, let's go with the right leg first, you're gonna be taking your knee out to the side. I'll, I'll turn to face you so you can see. Both of your legs are pointing forwards and that leg is coming out. So unlike the donkey kick where we actually open the knee out to the side, you don't want to do that opening of the hip. You want to keep both your hip bones pointing forwards. So you're gonna use that resistance. If you don't have resistance bands, just imagine there's a resistance band so you can find that extra bit of resistance as you draw the knee out to the side. And in, to the side and in. Taking this for 30 counts. So if you don't have the resistance band, imagine you're pressing something away to the side of your leg, to the outside of your leg. 20.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Let's take it over to the other side. Taking the left leg out, making sure the leg is pointing forwards instead of opening up, and bringing it back in. 30 counts. Keep breathing. Twenty. Core nice and strong. Relax the jaw. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. All right, guys, so keeping the distance band on if you have it, just doing two more things on the ground and then we're going to start standing up. So you're going to bring yourself onto your back and you're going to lift the hips up just like we did before, and then you're going to press the resistance band out and then bring the legs back in and then down. So again, if you don't have the resistance band, you're doing the same movement, we're just gonna imagine there's a pressure against your thighs. You can even take your hands there and press against the thighs so you can press away. So let's do that for 30 seconds, 30 counts. Let's go. Really think about squeezing your glutes at the top, pressing out, bring it back in. See if you can relax the effort in your shoulders and neck. 20. Press down through your heels. It's really squeezing the glutes at the top. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Resistance band is off. Just take it to the side. Now we're going to come to lie on the side. So you're going to have your left knee bent. Your right leg is coming out to the side. So you're going to lift your right leg up. Everything's pointing in again. It's not about the height. You don't need to turn the leg out. We need to keep that thigh pointing forwards, toes pointing forwards, lifting the leg up, and then you're going to draw it forwards as far as you can, tap the floor, then lift it back up. Down, up, forwards, and up. Let's go, 30 counts. Twenty. You should really feel that warmth now in the outer hip. If you didn't feel it before, you should feel it now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four, two, and one. Well done. Switching round to the other side. Lying on your right side, right knee bent, left leg extended. Flex the foot, leg turning in. Remember, it's not turning out. It's not about height, it's about getting into the glutes. So lifting the leg up and then forwards and up and down. 30 counts. So that forwards motion is a little tap before it comes back up. Nice and strong through your core, so you're still trying to keep the pelvis nice and stable so it has that control as the leg comes forwards. 20. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, four, three, two, and one. Well done guys. Bring yourself onto your belly. 
Bend up your knees and then just sway your feet from side to side. Release any tension in the bum and the lower back. Nice one, everyone. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, lengthen the legs away, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Bring it into your downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Left foot comes to centre line of mat, right leg lifts up into three legged dog, bend the knee, stack the hips. Maybe you want to take it down into a wild thing this time. Right foot over to left side of mat, lift the right arm all the way back, pressing the hips high, using those glutes that we just found. Exhale, take your right hand down. Inhale, take the right leg back up into three legged dog and exhale, step that right foot in between the hands. So this time we're rising up into high lunge, fingertips lift, Nice, strong right leg. Left leg can either be straight or you can bend it. Now bring your hands to your heart center. Now shift the weight forwards into warrior three. Find your balance and bring that left knee in towards your chest. We'll do 30 counts of this transition. Bring in the leg back, bring in the leg in. If you find it difficult to balance, bring yourself to a wall, take hold of something stable and still do it, but try to put as little pressure on the wall as possible. So you'll find a little bit of wiggliness around the ankle, a little bit of wiggliness around the knee maybe. But really try to keep the, the hips pointing forwards and down. Slight bend in that right knee. And we're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's land that left leg all the way back. Take that, place the hands on the ground. Right foot steps back, vinyasa flow, either knees, chest, or chaturanga. Inhale as you lift the chest up into baby cobra or up dog, and exhale as you take it all the way back and up into your downward facing dog. Take a breath in, and a breath out. Left foot lifts up into three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the left knee, stack the hips. Maybe this time you're taking it down into your wild thing. Really enjoy the stretch as the hips lift you up. Exhale, left hand comes back down to the ground. Inhale, the left leg lifts back up into three-legged dog. Exhale, step that left foot in between your hands and we'll rise up into a high lunge. Arms reach high just to find that length through the spine. The left knee bends and you've got a nice long back leg or you can take the, a bend in the back knee if you need to. Bring the hands now to heart center. Stabilize yourself. Then send the weight into that left leg as the right leg lifts up into warrior three. Now right knee comes into chest. 30 counts of this transition as the right leg goes back and the right knee comes in. Slow it down as much as you need to. This is again about stability and strength rather than doing it fast. So just find your rhythm. Hold on to a wall if you need to. Don't worry about the wiggles and the shakes in that standing leg, but do try to make sure the knees are dropping in. So the weight's pressing down through the balls of the feet, or the ball of the foot, and the heel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's land that right leg back. Hands come to the ground, left foot steps back, Vinyasa flow into your up dog or baby cobra and exhale into your downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Look forward towards the fingertips, bend the knees and you're going to step or jump the feet so they land hip width apart. Then you're going to keep the knees bent, come up into your chair pose and take the hands back down to the floor and then jump it back into your plank. We're going to do that for 20 counts. Bringing the feet in, lifting the arms up into chair, taking the hands back down, stepping it or jumping it back into plank. In, up, down and back. 20 counts. Nice and strong through your core. Get those knees in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two.
two and one. We're gonna hold here in a chair pose for 10 counts. 10, nine, eight, seven. Really feel the strength through the legs. Four, three, two, and one. Lengthen the legs and come up to standing. Well done. If you have the resistance bands, take that on now. Otherwise, leave it off and have breath. So we're gonna go into our squat legs from side to side. So, I'm gonna stand to face your water so you know what I'm doing. So you're gonna bend the knees. You've got the resistance band as a little bit of resistance. Then you lift the leg up, keep the leg as always turned in. Bending into the knees, lifting the leg up. So again, if you don't have the resistance band, just imagine that you've got something pressing against your thighs as you lift them up. We're going for 30 counts. Let's go. So really pressing, even in your squat, you want to press against the resistance band. Nice and strong through your core, keeping your chest lifted and the spine nice and long. 20. Really turn those toes in because it's just easier to turn them out. So that's what your body will naturally do. Really think about turning them in so you really find that strength. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done, guys. Just have a rest. Keep your resistance band on if you have it. We're going to go into curtsy squats for 30 seconds. So you're going to be stepping out to the side, taking the leg back. I'm going to try not to squish the plants. Taking it into a curtsy squat. Taking a step out to the side, leg comes behind you, curtsy squat, the knee comes down to the ground. So the step out to the side could be actually nice and wide to get that resistance through the band. Let's go. Stepping out, taking a squat. And as you come up, I want you to think really strongly about pressing down through the heel so you're activating those glutes as you come up. You can count how many times I say glutes throughout this session. Glutes, 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 glutes. Twenty. Really pressing down through the heel, remember. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going to take a hold in our squat position. Toes turning slightly up to the side for 20. Press against the resistance band if you still have it on. 10, no, not 10 yet. I'm now on 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, I wish I was at 10 before, 7, 6, 5, strong core, 3, 2, 1, or oh, press up, well done. Take that resistance band off, we don't need it anymore. All right guys, step into the front of your mat, take your hands onto your belly, take a long breath in, a long breath out, feel your shoulders drop, your neck lengthen. Take a breath in and a breath out. If you want to, you can take a vinyasa flow here, but I'm not gonna cue it, so it's your choice. Take a breath in and a breath out. If you did your vinyasa flow, bring it back up to the top of the mat, nice and slow. We're gonna go for 10 lunges. Stepping the right leg back, right knee lowers to the ground, Step it forwards. You can do 10 each side. Stepping the left leg back, taking it down, bring it forwards. Hands either at heart center, we can keep your hands up, we can keep them on your hips. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and 
one, we're going to hold, pulse, two, one, lift the arms up into a back bend, bring the hands back down, pulse, three, two, one, inhale, lift the arms up into a back bend, exhale, pulse, two, one, inhale, lift the arms up, last time, exhale, pulse, two, one, inhale, the arms up, exhale, step it back in, left leg goes back, pulse, two, one, inhale, the arms reach up, exhale, pulse, two, one, inhale, arms reach up, well done guys, we're almost there, pulse, two, one, inhale, arms reach up, keep going, pulse, two, one, this is your last, and then bring the leg back in, well done, give the legs a little bit of a shake, we have one more thing before we come into some more stretches, so you're going to take your feet nice and wide, as wide as feels comfortable too, and we're going to go into some really wide lunges, so keep your hands wherever feels comfortable, I really like doing the press through my fingers, if you want to interlace fingers or just keep the hands at heart centre, whatever feels more comfortable for you, let's take a lunge into the right leg, press down through your heel, press it back up, lunge into your left leg, press down through the heel, so I want you to go wide enough that you feel a stretch through the inner thighs, let's go, 30 counts, chest stays high, Core stays strong, ribcage draws in, breath stays deep. See if you can control the breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth, 20. Keep going, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lengthen both legs. Bring them a little bit closer if they were quite wide. Turn your toes as far in as feels comfortable. Hands on hips. Inhale to roll the shoulder blades down the back. Lift the chest up. And as you exhale, reach your chest forwards, forwards, forwards. Come into a forward fold. The weight now comes onto the balls of the feet rather than the heels. The hands come down to the ground, the head relaxes down, the knees can be slightly bent. You can take something underneath your hands if that feels comfortable too. Slow breaths, let the body hang. You can take your hands onto your elbows if that feels good to sway from side to side. You can even take left hand over right ankle and start to rotate, look up towards the ceiling, right hand on lower back, Try to keep your hips square so that left hip can draw maybe slightly towards the left side. Draw your belly close towards your thigh. Weight shifting forwards. Take a breath in and a breath out. Switch sides if you are doing that twist. Right hand over to the left ankle. Left hand onto lower back. Notice if your hips have gone a bit wonk. See if you can bring that right hip back slightly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, belly towards the thigh. Last breath in. Exhale, release. Bend your knees and inhale to lengthen. Exhale to bend. Inhale to lengthen. Walk your hands over to your right foot. Coming into a lunge, we're going to lengthen up the right leg, so hamstrings again. If you want to, you can step that left foot slightly in if it feels more comfortable to, or keep it all the way back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. If you want to, you can flex that right foot to get a deeper stretch. Remember, if you've got tight hamstrings, to so bend the knee a little if you need to. Breathe. Inhale, lengthen. 
exhale to see if you can slide that right leg back oh it's hard when you've got trainers on all the way up into a three-legged dog and exhale take the foot down to the ground stepping the left foot forwards nice long stance through the legs or if you've got tight hamstrings walk that foot a little bit closer inhale lengthen exhale fold maybe flexing the left foot see if you can find a little bit more length Good, pressing the hands down, scoop the left foot away from the ground, lift it up into your three-legged dog. Exhale, take the left foot back down to the floor into your downward dog. Take a breath in, a breath out to lower the knees to the floor, big toes touching at the back, release your hips down. Child's pose, reaching fingertips forwards. Now, if you've got a lacrosse ball, you're gonna come with me. If you don't have a lacrosse ball, You've got a few options. You can either stay in child's pose or you can come up and massage your thighs. If you've got a lacrosse ball, you're going to come and sit on your bum. You can take the ball underneath your bum and you're going to give your glutes a nice massage. Just sort of wriggling around on that ball. Doing it one side and then the other side. Take as long as you want. You can pause the video if you want. It's a bit more time. You can also massage your thighs with the ball, or if you've got a roller, you can do that. Give your muscles a little bit of love. Lovely. And then when you're ready and you've done enough massaging, bring yourself down onto your back. Bring the knees into the chest. Sway the knees from side to side. Anything else that you need, then please feel free to take it. Otherwise, we are coming down to Shavasana. Legs lengthen forwards, arms come down to the side of the body or they rest on the belly. Take a lovely long breath in, down into the depths of your tummy. And sigh out, and with that sigh out, feel the tension drain away from your body and your mind. And take some time now to just become aware of all the sensations in your legs, your glutes, all the way through the lower part of your body. If you had a long time massaging, then they should feel nice and fuzzy and bubbly. Letting your awareness shift to your feet. Letting your feet get heavy. And your legs. And the whole pelvic bowl. tummy, spine, chest, and the upper back. Let the tension drain away from the shoulders, drain away from the arms and the hands. Find weight in the back of the neck and space in the throat. Relax the jaw, let the cheeks hang, let the eyes soften, and relax the area around your scalp. Follow three breaths in and out. Allowing your thoughts to be part of your med meditation rather than resisting any thoughts that come in. Follow another three, thought, uh, three breaths without resisting your thoughts.
and another three. And when the thoughts come in, gently guide your focus back to the breath. Now place your hands on your chest, a little bit to the left, so it's above your heart. corners of your mouth to lift slightly into a loving smile. Doesn't have to be a grin, just a little loving smile. And thank yourself for moving today. If you want to now, as you're still lying down, just give yourself a hug. Just taking the knees into the chest or just wrapping the arms around the body. And then Unravel yourself, stretch your arms back and your feet forwards into a long full body stretch. And then roll yourself over onto one side and then bring yourself up to seated, keeping the eyes closed. And placing your hands back onto your heart space and thanking yourself again really deeply. And maybe just taking the two corners of your mouth upwards again. Another breath in, feel your heart lift. Another breath out, feel your heart settle back into your body. Now bring your hands to your heart center, hands together. Lift the thumbs up to the third eye, put the chin bow down to the chest. Thank you guys, well done, well done, well done. Make sure you keep uh, getting a bit of love to your legs today, otherwise you'll be sore tomorrow. Just keep that massaging, give yourself a nice long bath, drink lots and lots of water. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me any comments, any feedback that you'd like and I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks guys.